What's going on guys? Welcome back to another reverse video and welcome back to another character breakdown video. Today we're going to be looking at none other than Claire Redfield, debatably one of the best characters that Resident Evil Reverse has to offer. Unless you don't have any good coins to go with her build, she can be a pretty dull character. So today I'm going to show you guys what kind of coins and what kind of strategies I use for winning as Claire. For just their standard abilities and no coins on at all, Claire Redfield actually has a pretty good survivability rank with a not so good weapon power rank and a pretty poor skill power rank. Claire's passive skill is actually pretty unique, it's called Speed Loader and what it is is when you have your standard weapon out which is the quick draw army, it'll instantly reload when dodging. Claire's other skills consist of Modified Alternator, which what it is is you can throw the Modified Alternator in front of you and the electricity arcs away from the Alternator in a fixed radius. Enemies in the radius will receive an electric shock and take only minor damage. Her last skill is called Adrenaline Shot and what it is is you inject yourself with Adrenaline, recovering a small amount of HP and recovering full stamina. Her standard weapon is called the Quick Draw Army, which I think is debatably the best handgun in the entire game. Her personal weapon is called the MQ-11, which is a miniature submachine gun, which has a huge firing rate. Some of the best of the best pro Claire players on Resident Evil Reverse like Ico Pro Sam of the Iconic Show will not use the MQ-11 submachine gun at all and strictly stick to the Quick Draw Army. In all of these character breakdown videos I do, I usually show my character build and then I followed up with explaining why I use this character build. So here you go. If anyone wants to follow this build and try to be a pro Claire player like me, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just an average player, but I do try my best and I try to get the best wins possible. If you noticed right up at the top, I have adrenaline shot and vulnerability dose, which I have to get this out of the way first because it is just hands down the most broken coin that any character could ever have. And it makes Claire the character that it makes her. It makes her the character that helped me get all the flawless victories that I'm able to get. And honestly, there isn't really any other character that can just run around and be invulnerable for this set amount of time. So for those of you that don't know, Adrenaline Shot and Vulnerability Dose renders you invulnerable for a set time after using Adrenaline Shot. Higher levels increase the time for which you remain invulnerable, so that means if you have the coin at level 3, you will remain invincible for about 3 seconds or so. Also, I have Quick Draw Army Ammo Capacity Booster and Quick Draw Army Rate of Fire Booster, and this is probably one of the only times I wouldn't go with Damage Booster for a gun. But Capacity Booster is so meta for her Quick Draw Army because it gives you 9 shots instead of 6, which is huge. And the Rate of Fire Booster is just phenomenal because it makes you shoot way faster. So like I said previously, Claire's skill power and her weapon power is not the best, which means that me having Adrenaline Shot and Vulnerability Dose along with Quick Draw Army Ammo Capacity Booster and the Rate of Fire Booster helps those two greatly. The last coin I have on my build for Claire Redfield is Human HP Booster which is one of the most common ones and simply enough just gives you more HP. Now like I said in my character breakdown videos previously, it is super wise to just hold that button down for Adrenaline Shot and Vulnerability Dose or just for your other skill in general. For Claire Redfield and her skills, I'm always making sure that I have my finger on L1 because that one is Adrenaline Shot and Vulnerability Dose and that one is the one that renders me invulnerable. It's always the best when you have an enemy that's coming straight towards you and they get really close to you just for you to pop that Adrenaline Shot and Vulnerability Dose and then they realize that there's nothing much they can really do and that's your moment to actually get some good kills off. Each skill has a cooldown of course, so it's always smart to make sure you're watching them and get ready to use your modified alternator because if an enemy lunges at you in any way or form, that can definitely stun them. And like I said, it damages them minorly, but it's enough to stun them so you can just start shooting them with your primary weapon. Claire is a super smart character to just pull the running strategy off to just make sure you have everything ready to go and whenever you need to, just run pop your adrenaline shot and vulnerability dose and then make sure you just get off some good damage and continue running and pretty much just repeat the process. 
as you can see here, I was able to get some good damage off on Jack Baker with the power weapon, so I knew stunning him with that modified alternator would be just enough damage with my quick draw army to just finish off the job on him. As you can see here, I'm playing pretty aggressive as Claire, and that's usually how I like to play as her because she has the invulnerability dose, and that's something I like to use. But as you can also see here, the human HP booster along with Claire's natural ability to have the big survivability rank is what helped me survive in that instance. If you are here watching this and you're relatively new to reverse and you're trying to pick up some good skills, one thing to remember is when you're looking at the character list, make sure that each character's survivability rank, weapon power, and skill ranks are all covered pretty good when you're putting on your coins for your build. Also pay close attention to the coins that you're actually putting on your build because I've seen too many players that just put coins on their build that are just nothing but upgrading their weapon power and would make them really lack in the health points department. I'm about to go ahead and get out of here guys but one thing I did not talk about much is the MQ-11 which is also known as her submachine gun or her personal weapon. But that is one gun that I just stay away from using. I kind of use it here and there. Then again, I kind of just stick to the quick draw army. At the end of all of these character breakdown videos, I give my opinion about these characters. So for Claire, I'd have to say she is probably one of the best. One of the best of the best in this game. And I would have to say one of my favorites to use. So I'd highly recommend using Claire Redfield if you want to get some wins. Thank you for watching another character breakdown video. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace.